I can confidently say that year one of crypto gaming in the mobile gaming industry is finally here. I know it's a mouthful, but to say the least, Android and iOS have finally become welcoming of cryptocurrency. There's a lot that has changed to say the least. And so today I'm going to be showcasing the top 10 mobile games that I'm looking forward to the most in the crypto industry industry and the fun part here is that it's not only the ones that i'm looking forward to it's also some crypto games that are actually live that you can play right now so if this is the kind of content that you enjoy all these kind of tier lists feel free to go ahead like and subscribe so you don't miss out and more and before we get into it before i give you the juicy details big disclosure i don't care about the investments or any of that kind of information Mobile gaming and crypto gaming are so much more than just like money and investing. But to say the least, the integration of the technology has made it a lot easier for people to actually go ahead and trade their assets and actually own them for once. So let's get right into it. The first game I actually want to talk about is Champions Arena. Now, Champions Arena is a turn-based strategy game. If you've ever played Summoner's War before or games where you have, you know, four champions and you have to go ahead and fight others, as you could see, there are plenty of special abilities. And in terms of a very clarity-focused game, this is it. You can go ahead and have a guild, aka an estate in this game. You have different game modes like Mayhem, Raids, Arena, which have really cool utility in terms of NFT that you can battle and a percentage of all the revenue in this game goes straight to those people that end up battling with nfts so this game is 100 free to play all that stuff is secondary and this game it looks pretty sick i mean it is a sick game and it is available right now on pc android and ios so check it out this is a game by gala games and let's get right into the next one so this is wag me defense now wag me defense is very similar uh, to games like Clash Royale, where you have a deck of cards, which you can actually go ahead and place on the field. There is an energy system, there are towers, and the goal is to go ahead and outmaneuver your opponent in the many different ways, countering their deck, etc., etc., and actually destroying the Nexus, or at least trying to do it uh, in the best way possible. If you destroy one tower and the guy has zero towers destroyed, perfectly fine. Now, what sets Wag Me Defense apart from any other other games similar to Clash Royale in the tower destruction genre. Well, very simple. They've got some big old experience from EA, but even more important, uh, they've got a token, which does have utility. A Wagami Games takes 5% of sales and automatically converts it to Wagami Games. But even more importantly is the fact that there is governance as well as exclusive tournaments that people can do in the Wag Me Games ecosystem. That's very important because many of these other ecosystems in traditional gaming don't really offer that. And on top of that, they've got comics, which they've got a lot of cool stuff coming for them, but that'll be for another video. Next game is Thaden Arena. Now, Thaden Arena is interesting because Thaden Arena is one of those games that doesn't have a very good Web3 gaming ecosystem. To be honest, if you like having fun, if you want a fleshed out battle royale game on mobile, this game is perfect for you. You can play this game right now. You can have fun on it. Awesome. There's what, like 26 million players, 25 million players, 150,000 people that went ahead and played peak concurrently at some point, And it was a top 10 blockchain game of 2021. This is 100% available on mobile right now. You can download data and arena. You can participate in the play to earn ecosystem, which has two tokens. It has a governance token, which is THC, and then THG, which you can go ahead and use to open up Thetan boxes for premium heroes. So this game has a bunch of different game modes, a bunch of different unique hero combinations with a bunch of different skills. And to say the least, in the battle royale genre, it's really fun, even if the earnings aren't really the focal point here. The next mobile game that I wanted to talk about is Fableborn. Now, Fableborn is very similar to Clash of Clans in the city building genre where you go ahead and you've got your defenses that you place and you level them up over time. You've got resources like gold, etc, etc. 
And of course, the rating function where you can go ahead and actually attack other players. You can go ahead and use your primary heroes or your three different heroes. You can see there that you have to actually dodge skill shots. It's a lot different from just sending your troops in, whereas you actually have to actively be a part of this game. You need to be, you know, actually attentive to what's going on in your screen instead of just like throwing things all over the place, which I like. I like the strategy component of it all. Go ahead and destroy whatever it is and go from there. Now, Fableborn, the main little pitch that they've got is that it's lunchtime esports where people are just going ahead and saying that most multiplayer games are too hard to master without a significant time investment. This game, you can eat some lunch, play the game, and you're done with it. It's as simple as that. The Web3 gaming component comes from the NFTs, which are things that you can earn in the game. They are going to have more details out on this, but for now, this is all we know. This game is an alpha. People have played this before, and it is still currently in development for mobile. Magic Craft is the next game. Now, Magic Craft is a MOBA. It's a multiplayer online battle arena where you go ahead and face against other people. You've got a team yourself. You've got, as you can see here, a capture the point ask feel. And to say the least, it's pretty crazy for mobile. This is one of those games that have been out for quite some time for people to actually go ahead and try. And one of those games that actually really taps into the Web3 gaming component. I mean, they're always talking about their token and all those different things like their team and the marketplace and their Genesis collections, etc., etc. We've got several utilities here, but the main one I would say is this one right here, which is in-game progressions and battle victories will provide ongoing MCRT rewards for all gamers. MCRT can be used to create lobby games that other players can join. The lobby will be viewable on the blockchain and automatically sent out by the BSC smart contract after the victory or loss of your team. So it seems like some kind of wager component is here. And this is a game that you can go ahead and play yourself. The next game is... Yeah, it's Axie Infinity. I figured I'd go ahead and mention Axie Infinity. It might not be a Web3 game, but it sure as heck is a crypto game yield farm. This is an IP that is massive, still has a ton of people playing from many different countries all over the world. And if you're trying to learn about the original mobile game, the mobile game, which in fact kind of led to many other mobile games becoming a thing. Remember, Axie Infinity made everybody else play mobile games. This is a card game. If you think of Hearthstone, you've got cards, you've got an energy system. Very simple, thought out metrics. The easiest of the easiest. You're going to go ahead and own Axies because this is the thing. You need to own Axies. You need to spend money in this game to actually play. So, not free to play. This one ain't free to play. But I guess technically it could be free to play because if we think about the scholarship system, which if we really wanted to get over it, we'd be here for three years. But this is Axie Infinity. Uh, it's a game and it, it is on mobile as well. So the next one is Cross the Ages. And if you're French, um, bonjour. <laughs> that's, as, that's as far as I'll go. Maybe like, comment ça va? And, you know, that's as far as I go with French. But Cross the Ages is very French focused. I mean, they, they've got a French team over here. And it's a trading card game where the goal of the game is to actually dominate the board. So this is a bit of a different kind of game. There are games like it out there, like Marvel has developed a similar game to this one. But the interesting thing about this game is they're 100% honing in. By the way, look at that cool animation. They're 100% honing in on the fact that people can go ahead and trade cards. That's as simple as that. They're not complicating the Web3 portion of it all. You can go ahead and trade cards on their marketplace for other cards or for other currencies, and that's the entire idea behind it. But in terms of a genre, this is a genre that has been tested for quite some time on mobile gaming and something that you can actually get your hands on today. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to go ahead and check that game out on the mobile gaming store. The next one is kind of a, a little teaser here, funny, because like it's two games, okay? It's Dragon Strike and Meow Match. These are by Gala games. And if you're into the very traditional puzzle games, and those two games are gonna be perfect for you. They actually use a very similar play to earn component. As you can see here, it's very simple. You go ahead and you have combos. There are specific colors that are stronger against other colors. And that's usually as far as the gameplay goes. There are leaderboards where you can go ahead and fight other guilds or other players to try to be on top, which does have actual prizes. Yes, you can earn gala off of this if you're number one or if you're the top X amount, you will be earning something. They also do have NFT collections. You can turn your heroes into NFTs, which of course are what's earning the currency in the game, which is interesting. You see a lot of gala games end up doing this. It's, it's an interesting model. 
battle for sure. Now, the next game is NFL Rivals. Now, NFL Rivals is being developed by the same people from Blinko's Block Party. But yes, this is for mobile, and this is a game that actually has quite a few downloads already. But here's some gameplay on NFL Rivals. It is a football game. This is a game that is actually licensed. I believe they have it over here. Show off your pro sports manager skills in NFL Rivals, an officially licensed professional mobile football game with digital player cards. Now, here's your warning with this game. The fees on NFL Rivals are ludicrous. But the game, in terms of a football game, this is is solid on mobile you probably aren't really going to get better than this so if you're into football games if you're into nfl stuff and players and all that kind of stuff feel free to go ahead check this one out nfl rivals right now you know they are running a whole ecosystem with a bunch of different people interacting with them and so the last game i wanted to talk about is called eternal paradox now eternal paradox is a 4x grand strategy game what i mean by this is that you can go ahead and you've got land. It's got a bunch of different components. Like, as you can see here, this is a campaign with a bunch of different heroes that you can participate with. If I actually go over and skip maybe a little bit over, blah, skip over here. I've got a profile. As you can see here, I have a fortress. I have messages, statistics all over the place. This is a game that is coming next quarter, most likely. Probably quarter four of 2023. This Forest Grand Strategy game is by far the best Grand Strategy game in the entire genre. I mean, there is nothing that comes even close to this. The level of clarity here that has been developed is unseen. So I imagine it's going to shake the space up. In terms of the Web3 gaming component, it's got NFTs, which are ancient lands. You can trade resources. And that's kind of where it makes most of it up. In fact, ancient lands are really interesting because you could actually play these, place these down, and actually people that end up farming inside of your ancient lands, you get a portion of whatever they get. So that's kind of where that lies. But for the most part, let me tell you something. I could not have made this to your list at the beginning of this year. As simple as that. It would not have been possible. Mobile gaming is so much better than it was in the beginning of this year. Crypto gaming is here. Crypto gaming is here to stay. Mobile games are finally actually coming out on Play Stores that you can get your hands on, which I think is incredible. But at the end of the day, you should not be playing these games for the sole purpose of investment, for all those different things people used to talk to you about in 2021. 2023 mobile gaming is about the games and it will stay about the games at the end of the day. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Until the next time, stay classy, and that's all.